And we begin with breaking news out of the Supreme Court. The justices ruling uh, that for now, Texas can give local police and state law enforcement power to arrest migrants. The state law known as SB4 also allows state judges to order people deported to Mexico. The Biden administration had sued to block this law, saying uh, that it trampled on the federal government's exclusive authority on immigration issues rooted in the Constitution. Leading us off this hour, our senior Washington correspondent, Devin Dwyer. Devin, let's just break down the ruling. And how does this set the stage for conflict between federal and state law enforcement in Texas now? Well, this will be a dramatic sea change in enforcement at the border in Texas, Kira. This will, as Terry said, allow state law enforcement, police, sheriffs, state patrol to arrest and detain migrants as they come across, usurping uh, and overriding federal immigration authorities who are tasked with doing the very same thing. Uh, typically, as you know, the federal government leads the charge in border enforcement, but Texas taking matters into its own hands with this law, a district court struck it down as likely unconstitutional constitutional it put it on hold uh, but today uh, in a procedural decision Kira the Supreme Court said it can go forward for now Texas can begin to enforce this law although it is not the final word the decision was six to three uh, conservative justices Amy Coney Barrett and Brett Kavanaugh said they wouldn't get ahead of the Fifth Circuit that's the appeals court here who uh, has the decision has the ability uh, to put this on hold that's still pending so that still could come uh, but the three liberal justices mincing no words. Justice Sonia Sotomayor, in a biting dissent, uh, said that this will now invite chaos at the southern border. It will upend law enforcement there. It will uh, interfere with foreign uh, diplomacy, obviously, because the federal government negotiates enforcement with Mexico um, and could even cost cities uh, millions of dollars for now having to build jails and prosecute migrants that they detain. So potentially a big change here, but it's not the last word, and I'd look to see in the next few days or even week here uh, to see whether the Fifth Circuit um, does jump in and put it on hold. Yeah, it's a weird moment in this case, isn't it, Devin? The, the Supreme Court, the conservatives say, we don't want to reach over the appeals court, grab this case, lower down, uh, while the appeals court is thinking whether or not they should issue a stay to halt all this while they consider it. Uh, and in fact, Amy Coney Barrett, the justice Amy Coney Barrett says the applicants may return to this court if they don't get the result they want. That said, this is kind of reminiscent of what the Supreme Court, the conservatives on the court, did with abortion. Uh, remember that Texas passed a law which was flagrantly uh, unconstitutional under Roe versus Wade. And the justices, the conservative justices, allowed that to go into effect. And that, I think, is what has Justice Sotomayor so exercised. Absolutely. SB 8, that extraordinary law that let everyday citizens in Texas enforce uh, abortion bans against their neighbors, the Supreme Court let that take effect. And so today, as you pointed out, we're seeing a similar approach by the Supreme Court. But again, uh, just to emphasize here, yes, uh, it, this could be a chaotic and messy moment at the border while they try to figure out who gets to actually enforce the laws. But again, it's very clear that this isn't the last word. Those two conservatives, Barrett and Kavanaugh, pointing out um, that as this shakes out at the appeals court, they expect uh, some of these uh, issues to come back to them. Um, and we may well see just in the next few days, Terry, if, if, if that does happen. Devin Dwyer, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.